All right, welcome to Thursday, April 7th. Sure good to see you today. Today's reading will be 2 Samuel chapters 9 through 12. Hope you like the lighting a little bit better today. Made a few adjustments. Um, I forgot to stabilize the screen, so there'll still be some movement there on that. I'll work on that. All right, chapter 9. Uh, we have the story of Mephibosheth, who was, we were just talking about him back in 2 Samuel chapter 4. Remember the the woman that was taking care of the king's kids ran with Mephibosheth and uh, dropped him. And that's, what, that's why he ends up uh, being lame in his feet. And uh, so that was just a few chapters ago. But David, we find here, is fulfilling his promise to both Saul and Jonathan. Uh, imagine the fondness David would have felt for Mephibosheth, considering uh, he is the son of his best friend. And here we have chapter 10. The Ammonites and the Syrians fight one of the stupidest battles ever. Pointless, needless idiots. And then you send them back with half their beard shaved and their garments cut off. Notice here that uh, also in a bit of strategy, Joab split the uh, Syrian and Ammonite armies so that they couldn't join up. Got them, you know, before that they could do that and more easily defeated. And so then we get to chapter 11. We find the, just the low point, I think, in, in David's life. And again, one thing that I've tried to, you know, keep on mind, right? It, David's not one of my favorite Bible characters, but, you know, God thinks a lot of him, a man after God's own heart. So we find this isn't his normal character, just that uh, we have to be told these things. You know, even a man after God's own heart still sins. So we have Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah the Hittite. So we come to find out Uriah was a foreigner living, living in Jerusalem and fighting for the Israelites. And then we find his faithfulness and his loyalty in stark contrast to David right now, who should have been out fighting in the, in the war. And everything that transpires here, you know, the Bible says pretty plainly, displeases the Lord. Now here we have one of the bravest people in all of Scripture, and that's Nathan the prophet. Uh, lures David in with a story of sheep. David gets angry, says we're going to kill the guy. Who is this man? And Nathan now says, you are the man. David could have had Nathan killed at any point even before he got in there. Probably thinking he got away with everything at this point. Come to find out he didn't. Notice that David repents. And uh, he's going to have you know some trouble the rest of his life because of this. The resulting child dies. So as not to be in accusation by enemies. But David says here two things that we need to remember. The first is... Who can tell if the Lord will be gracious unto me? You know, sometimes I think we get ourselves into a pickle and we won't ask God to help us out because we got ourselves there. You know, the honest thing is to not ask God for help, but however, David still asked. And uh, we should be doing that as well. You know, sometimes we're idiots, uh, but we still ask God for help. But the second thing do we need to remember there is important. David said about this son, I shall go to him, but he shall not come return unto me. And so we know from this and other scriptures, but just the heart of God, that uh, when an infant or a baby dies, it goes to heaven. No question. And so then Solomon is born. Now, to get an idea of what's going on in uh, David's mind in this portion of scripture, we can read Psalm 51, and uh, David is very repentant. Um, he doesn't buck up against Nathan, doesn't buck up against God. Uh, he has a soft heart for what he's done. And it's still amazing here how maybe heinous all this was you know if we doubt the bible where it says that uh god worked it out for good here's something where god does work it out for good solomon ends up being born to bathsheba even ends up in the genealogy of jesus christ god still has a plan for us he still loves us and he's still pulling for us all right i hope that was a help today and uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow have a great day